I'm just telling you guys some of my clues and some of my tips that I have on this game, okay? Now we're going to break this video down into two different parts. The first part is going to be covering settings and we're going to include the new Season 2 tune as well. And then into the second part we're going to cover some gameplay um, mechanics and techniques that I think you guys can try to work on. Um, <clears throat> so right away we're going to start with going into the settings here. Go to the gameplay settings and you guys can kind of see what I have here. Nothing really... Uh, to touch on besides there's three things I want you guys to take a look at well actually for the airborne throttle it doesn't really matter what you have it on auto disable or user input I have it on user input this is how I learned to play the game whatever you have it on probably keep it on whatever it is because there isn't much of a difference um, pro physics I have them on um, it gives you more maneuverability left and right you can uh, just got that little extra movement compared to the stock physics, but the stock physics are more um, consistent. You know, if you're just an average guy playing the game uh, with your buddies or you're just doing the uh, the pub lobbies or just the three lappers, the pro physics, in time, once you get used to them, are going to be way better. You're going to have faster lap times. You're going to be able to move that bike around a lot better. Um, but if you are, you know, newer to the game, or I would stick with pro physics and work on some of the things that we're going to cover later on but I do think pro pro physics overall are going to be a lot faster for you once you get used to them uh, we're going to move down to the custom camera um, you guys are going to want this on you're going to be able to change your FOV stretch things out carry speed more um, same thing with the max FOV you're going to want to be able to have all that stuff on so you can you know adjust the camera because the base camera settings in this game are absolutely fucking trash alright we're gonna move down to the controls controls I have manual thumbstick um, that's just how I learned to play the game but you guys need to play on manual the automatic transmission on this game is trash you'll be going up a ramp and it and it automatically shifts you up into fourth gear and you lose all your fucking speed or you're going down the start straight and it bumps you up into fifth gear it's not good you're gonna want manual transmission so you can hit corners and lower gears with that engine acceleration you know like I said we're gonna cover all of that in the tune but you're gonna want to stay in a lower gear shift up when you want shift down when you want I mean you, you need manual shifting on to be top level or just get faster if you're just trying to chase your own lap times on time trial this is a good place to start is with manual transmission and getting used to that um, whatever However you want it, of course, you can use the face buttons, square and X, um, but thumbsticks is how I learned to play the game. Dual stick, of course, why would you not use, why would you use single stick, doesn't make sense. So, alright, that's it for the gameplay settings and controls and all that stuff. Um, with the camera settings, though, you guys can see how I have mine. Um, I have the FOV stretched backwards a bit, so it kind of gives you the feel that you're moving quicker. Um, you can kind of see the ruts coming up a little bit faster. You can prepare for the corner. Um, it also elongates the, the ramps and the takeoffs, and you can kind of use your scrub a lot better um, with the FOV stretch back. Now, um, you can raise it. You can see how I'm raising it here. You can raise it up above your character. You can lower it however you want. Um, but I think you're, you're going to want that custom camera on. Oh, shit. You're going to want that custom camera on for sure. You know, it's just... Uh, it's a game changer once you get used to it for sure you can pull it all back and stretch it out you can zoom in but uh, you're gonna want that custom camera on All right, next we're gonna touch on the season 2 tune um, with season 2 uh, a couple of things changed with the bike but the tune overall is the same um, we're gonna start with the engine I have it on negative 3 engine acceleration um, then I have clutch boost minus 3 as well I have the chassis all the way to the right for flexible. I've got suspension all the way stiff. I've got stock tires. Um, the reason we're running stock tires is because with this update, it just seems like the ground traction is a lot different. Um, but, you know, on some tracks, I will flirt with still grip 2 from time to time. Um, grip 1 even, you know, but for doing lap times and just staying fast I like to use stock tires and then brakes all the way to the right of course because if you're going fast you're gonna you're gonna be braking hard so you want your brakes um, so that kind of covers the tune for season two um, 
And yeah, so moving on to, we're going to cover, we're going to go to a track actually. We're going to cover some just basic things here. Um, let's see, we're going to go to, we're going to go to a free ride. And we are going to go to, where the hell is it? Iron Man. Go to Iron Man. It's a good track. All right, while that's loading up, so I said we're going to cover a few things on this part now. Um, kind of cornering techniques and scrubbing techniques. And you guys can see, so in a tight corner like this, with manual transmission, you're going to want to shift into second gear. And I'm kind of leaning a little bit forward with the right stick. I'm leaning a little bit forward and then leaning back on the exit. So I'm keeping in second gear, lean forward, kind of lean back on the exit. Um, you guys can see where I use my clutch too. Kind of coast, clutch are kind of in the middle of the corner. I'm going to raise my camera up just a tad. Brake, and then yeah, you want to coast through the corners for a little bit. You want to come up, coast on the way up, brake, kind of set up, and then clutch boost and roll through. See, so yeah, that manual transmission is going to be nice for uh, for doing all that stuff, being able to do that. Now, another good cornering technique is if you want to leave it in third, like I'm going to leave it in third through this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go for the middle line, and just grab a hold of it. You can even leave it in third in some corners, but you want to coast for the beginning part and then get on the gas. I did it through there. So we're going to put our marker down right here, right through here. We're going to put the marker down. All right, so I'm going to leave it in third gear. Right here, I'm off the gas, I'm coasting, and then I get on the gas as I'm going through. Um, you don't want to brake too hard because... Oh, when you're braking too hard before the corner, it's going to slow you up a lot. See, I'm braking hard and leaning back. See how much it slowed me down. You're going to want to just just come up to it with the gas up. Right here, I jump over. I'm off the gas, leaning forward, and then get on the gas halfway through the corner. You don't want to brake too early or too late unless you jump into the corner and you want to brake like that. But it is a lot easier just doing that. Try to With the Season 2, you're going to want to coast through some corners more. Down in a second, I'm coasting, get on the gas. See, then up through here, we're going to do the same thing. We'll scrub this. Down in a second, I'm coasting all the way up to it, then I brake to get that turn. When you guys when you guys are coasting, right here, I'm coasting, hit the brake just to get that. It's all coast, brake at the apex, just like that. It is very... Uh, you have to play a little bit slower than you guys would think. Coast, brake at the apex. Just like that. Coast, brake, go. It is uh, a little bit different to get used to, but I think that's kind of going to be your guys' most consistent way of getting around the track for sure. Just kind of doing the rest of the lap here, trying that. Coasting, get on the gas with a clutch boost. That's going to be another tip, though, is using your clutch as many times as you can. I mean, you guys can see uh, right above my miles per hour how many times I'm using it in a, in a lap. You know, I'm clutching there, clutch again. I mean, I'm always clutch boosting. All the time. So right here again, we're going to coast in, get on the gas right through the middle of it. Just like that. All right, so now we're gonna kind of we're gonna go to a different part of the track, right through here. You get a good scrub going. All right, so I'm gonna come up to it. I'm leaning back with both sticks, and I let up on the gas right at the base of the ramp. I'm on the gas, leaning back, let off the gas, and then get back on it again, right away, uh, right at the top. Just try to let up on the gas and kind of let, let the bike slow you down and then turn the bike over at the lip and then also hit the gas again right at the lip with, with the clutch boost sometimes. Like this, clutch boost right at the lip and it keeps you a lot lower. We'll do it a couple more times. 
leaning back, let up on the gas, clutch boost right at the top. So I'll go a little bit slower this time. So right through here, I'll be in third gear. I'm leaning back with both sticks, kind of compressing that. Then right when I'm about here, um, I'm letting up on the gas, just kind of coasting. I'm not braking. I'm letting up on the gas. And then once you get to the top here, you want to clutch boost again and then turn your bike over with both sticks. Um, this let up on the gas and then clutch boosting will give you that nice boost and that you'll stay lower and you won't have to like I said you won't have to hit the brake because I know some guys will uh, if you have a lot of speed you can actually tap the brake on the lip if you don't want to coast like that but it kind of gives you more you'll jump a little bit farther so you can use that when you need but um, it, you know it isn't going to be groundbreaking or anything so we're going to go through a couple of more sections here, kind of going through the same stuff that I was doing before. Right here I'm leaning forward. With season two, a big, big part of it though is um, it is just coasting a lot more than you would think. You know, leading up to corners, like right here, I'm off the gas. Now I'm on the gas. You want to, you want to just coast a lot more than you normally would. It isn't just uh, go as fast as you can and then break, break late. You know, you can't do that. See, I'm trying that in this section, and you end up kind of blowing. You'll, you'll blow a lot of corners out doing that. Um, Another part to going fast, that here, yours is a good part for, for going fast here. Um, you want to be able to get your back tire right at the top of the landing. That's the main thing you guys want to do. Then clutch boost instantly. Um, see, I'm dropping down. When I'm in the air, I'm hanging that back tire down so that lands first, and then you can get on the gas immediately. Hang that back tire down don't need to land with both tires at the same time but if you get that back tire down first it's gonna be really really good for you guys and that's gonna be the whole kind of thing you know is just coasting and staying smooth and getting your kind trying to keep the tires on the ground at all times So just try to <clears throat> burn some of those uh, techniques here. We're going to stay in this section for a little bit longer. Right here I'm coasting, coasting, and I'm on the brakes. See how I keep my tires on the ground at all times? That's what you guys want to do. You don't want to go, you don't want to go, you know, preloading that and sending it all the way to the ground and then, then jumping this to the corner. You don't want to be doing any of that. You know, you want to keep your tires on the ground and clutch boosting at the right times. Um, that's pretty much going to be about it for the corners and the scrubs and stuff. I mean, there isn't too much to, to cover with all that, but just try some of these drills kind of with, uh, with coasting into the beginning of the corners and, um, you know, gassing at the apex of the corner, like kind of right in the middle, gassing it with the clutch boost. It's going to be a lot better. You guys can see, and then in the tight corners, you're going to want to be using second gear, third gear if you want to carry a lot of speed, but most of the time you're going to be using a lot of second gear. I mean, you guys will notice with manual shifting, you're not going to be going into fourth gear very often. It's going to be second and third gear most of the lap. I mean, you guys can see here, um, I'm not grabbing fourth gear really ever on this track. Um, you don't need to. The bikes are so fast that it doesn't even this doesn't matter you don't need fourth gear fifth gear is never really used I'll grab four through here just to carry some speed and scrub it off but otherwise you don't need it you know so that should be about it though I mean uh see, I haven't made a video like this before it's a little bit different so um, I know it wasn't probably as perfect as you guys would want, but it's uh, 
gives you just a little bit of tips, you know. Um, I think another thing we can cover quickly before we go is uh, the left stick and exactly what that does is when I'm when I'm coming into this corner I just noticed that I was doing it when you're coming into a corner very fast right I'm letting up on the gas and I'm leaning back with only the left stick that sits you down and the, the right stick kind of moves all your weight but sometimes a lot of corners I'm using just the left stick not every single one but when you guys have a sweeping corner or one that you don't need to turn very sharp on like this I'm using both sticks to turn but if you have a sweeping corner you can pretty much get away with just the left stick right there I only use the left I mean I drove a little bit wide but you can use the left stick on some sweeping corners uh, tight corners obviously you're gonna want to use um, you're gonna want to use both sticks but yeah, just getting used to all that stuff, and like I said, the, the whole thing is going to be about coasting into your corners and hitting the clutch boost and the brakes at the right time. Um, that's going to set you guys up perfect for for good lap times, and keeping, you know, abusing that clutch boost is going to be the main thing. Um, it isn't going to be just about, you know, go as fast as you can into a corner like this going as fast as you can into a corner and then breaking late you're gonna you're gonna push wide um, the game has been somewhat slowed down recently and you're gonna have to take your time a lot more um, but with that guys I mean if there's anything you guys think I miss or you always want me to elaborate more on let me know and I can try to get another video out um, on different tips on what to do um, I think another thing is just keeping your cool, you know, uh, if you can keep your cool during the game, during all the, all the races, and just just stay true to the, to the braking points and to the gas points, learning all of those and just not straying away from it, getting caught up in the race, is doing the same thing over and over again on the, on the track and just not getting caught up is going to be the main thing, you know, I mean, learn, learn all the braking points and learn the, the gassing points and the clutch boost points. Um, that's going to be uh, pretty much the main thing for just staying consistent and going going really fast on this game. See how I'm scrubbing low and just staying as low as I can to the ground at all times. But with that, guys, I um, hope you guys like this video. It's going to be a little bit different, like I said, and it's kind of a longer video, but um, that's just how it is. So. Uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know, like I said, if you need me to elaborate on anything more. Um, it's kind of hard to to explain while I, what I'm doing while I'm playing. You know, I got 500 hours in the game, and it's a little bit. Uh, a lot of it is just second nature, and I don't notice a lot of the things that I'm doing. So trying to speak on it's kind of hard, of course. But um, those are things that I always try to work on: is coasting in the corners and just letting up on the gas more than you would think. You don't need to be totally balls to the wall all the time um, you just you just don't need to be so um, oh another quick tip secret tip when you are in the air and you are trying to to really send something like if it's a if it's a, a big cheater line or a big pro line um, move the left stick in the air up like this I'm, I'm inching it upward over and over and over again and you guys can see how high that actually sent me in the air like I'm doing it again here. It pushes you higher in the air when you just move the, the left stick up and up and up and up and up over and over again in the air. I'm doing it again. You guys can kind of see it really shoves you high in the air. Um, yeah, I, I keep keep signing off with then coming up with more tips. But um, yeah, try a couple of those things. Um, and if, if this video helped you guys, let me know. Um, I like to do some more of these. I need some more practice, obviously, with commentating more. So... Um, yeah, just let me know how you guys liked it, and yeah, peace out.